My dearest lady, I am now at a very pleasant cottage window, looking onto a beautifully hilly country, with a view of the sea. The morning is very fine. I do not know how elastic my spirit might be, what pleasure I might have in living here if the remembrance of you did not weigh so upon me. Ask yourself, my love, whether you are not very cruel to have so entrammeled me, so destroyed my freedom. For myself, I know not how to express my devotion to so fair a form. I want a brighter word than bright, a fairer word than fair. I almost wish we were butterflies and lived but three summer days. Three such days with you I could fill with more delight than fifty common years could ever contain. When you confess this in a letter, you must write immediately and do all you can to console me in it. Make it rich as a drought of poppies to intoxicate me. Write the softest words and kiss them, that I may at least touch my lips where yours have been. I have two luxuries to brood over in my walks. Your loveliness and the hour of my death. Oh, that I could have possession of them both in the same minute. I never knew before what such a love as you have made me feel was. I did not believe in it. But if you will fully love me, though there may be some fire, it will not be more than we can bear when moistened and bedewed with pleasures. My sweet girl, I am living today and yesterday. I was in a complete fascination all day. I feel myself at your mercy. Write me ever so few lines and tell me you will never forever be less kind to me than yesterday. You dazzled me. There is nothing in the world so bright and delicate. You have absorbed me. I have a sensation at the present moment as if I was dissolving. My sweet creature, when I send this round, I shall be in the front parlour, watching to see you show yourself for a minute in the garden. When I look back upon the ecstasies in which I have passed some days, and the miseries in their turn, I wonder the more at the beauty which has kept up the spell so fervently. How horrid was the chance of slipping into the ground instead of into your arms. The difference is amazing, love. Do not take the trouble of writing much. Merely send me my good night to put under my pillow. John Keats. <laughs>